Zealand team. So that's tennis, if you weren't quite sure. So I've got Michael, Marcus, Finn, and Ruben. Say, hey guys! Hey. Right, they're professional tennis players, so they're a little bit deaf. Ready? Hey guys! Hey. Beautiful. All right, so I brought them along. I thought some of you might want to ask them a bit of, a couple of questions. Does anyone think of a question they'd like to ask straight away? Oh! <laughs> Let's aim for that after, maybe. Any questions about their tennis? Cool. Ruben? Been playing sport. Or tried it. Um, probably is, is like seven years old. I had a twin brother, so I went in with uh, competition and just to practice. Um, I think we've been training for about 20 years. the opening ceremony for the Olympics? Yeah? yeah. Did you guys walk in that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Tell Probably them. would have seen my smile. Like this, <laughs> this yeah. Very cool. Any stories from the opening yeah. ceremony? Uh, it was a lot of weeping. Yeah, it was a long day. Yeah. Wow. There was, there was a convoy of about 300 buses that will took us to the stadium. And then there was a, yeah, like a, the volleyball stadium they used where all of the countries were just sort of waiting for their turn to walk in sort of entertainment and stuff there and then when we started walking to the stadium it took about two hours of walking because it was really really slowly until we walked through the tunnel but then walking walking out to, through the tunnel into the stadium was yeah, just yeah, the same yeah. 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 nice right yep who's the craziest place you've been to play tennis that's a good question <laughs> there have been quite a few crazy places Is Uzbekistan? Uzbekistan was a bit rough was your biggest known place <laughs> yeah, well, uh, when we actually tried to leave Uzbekistan, the flight that we'd been booked on, this was for Davis Cup as well, the flight we'd been booked on, they just said we couldn't get on the flight. What, it was because they didn't have... They let people off at that airport that didn't let you on. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone so know where Uzbekistan is, children? Put your hand up if you did. Are you better fight? Do you know where it is, Tony? Yeah. Where? It, it's sort of like we are, um, sort of near India, sort of. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's general direction. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Alrighty, let's go up 
that's it, that is. two days of travel just to play a tournament. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Question. Um, who do I get inspired by? Well, some of the New Zealand players that were uh, a little bit older than me that were playing, um, including these guys, um, and also some of the top professional players. Like I like um, maybe the ones you'd know would be Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal. so easy and when you get out there and sometimes you just wonder why it's <laughs> wonder how it makes it look like it. Okay, I'm gonna ask yeah. a question. So, so maybe that's definitely how easy it is. It's definitely easy. And Marcus, have you ever a uh, band guide over a professional tennis player or got a bit starstruck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first the first time I had the chance to sort of have a little chat to Federer, I I stumbled over some words. <laughs> but he was, he was genuinely a very, very nice guy and has time to everyone. So alongside him being just the most effortless player I think has ever lived, he's, he sort of had the whole package. You know, like he's, yeah, he's a very genuine and interested guy. Nice. All right, on our last one. Um, in Rio, did you eat McDonald's since this Olympics was sponsored by them? <laughs> <laughs> no, there was McDonald's in there and it was, it was free, so you could get it as much as you wanted. 
Singles, I'm ranked about 360. Wow. That's still, that's Maybe. not easy to get through. That's yeah. still very good. And about 420 on singles. To come back to that 361, children, there's probably tens of thousands of players who are playing professionally in the world. So to be from little old New Zealand, then 300 is an outstanding achievement. Mm -hmm. If you think about it in terms of something like rugby, then if you thought about uh, all the biggest nations that play rugby in the world and how big their squads might be, then these guys basically, you know, in their biggest national team. Or if you thought about in terms of football, these guys would be playing in the, in the Premier League, like the likes of Manchester United and all that. Yeah. All right, one more question. guys in the world might only win sort of five to eight tournaments a year and that's a good year so we, almost every week we play you have to put up with a loss and that can get pretty hard to deal with so having a good support team around you having the family support having the support of people back home is really really important Ready, and where's the part of the second boy? Wilding Park Does anyone know where Wilding Park is? <coughs> no Okay, well it's in Christchurch obviously, it's not too far from here. Uh, when does the first match start? What Friday day? Friday 11 o'clock. Friday 11 o'clock. So you guys will be, still be in school, but it goes all day Saturday and Sunday as well. So if you would like to come and watch these guys play, get mum and dad to look up some tickets and see if you can come along. Alrighty, and then Ruben's got a present for our principal here. Would you like to join us? Cool, oh, yeah, I'd love to see this. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of Waitakere School, thank you very much for coming out here today to teach us how to play tennis. And um, let's give a um, Waitakere, thank you. So we'll go for Heidi Lau because they're going instead of staying. They make a really good one, eh? And there's not many of you here, so you better make it loud because if you hear these guys are partially here. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> 